Item Number, SCP-956 Object Class, Crossed Out, Safe, Euclid Special Containment Procedures, SCP-956 is to be kept at the approximate center of a standard humanoid containment cell at all times, to prevent incidental activation. Entrance into the room is only permitted once SCP-956 has entered a dormant state. Permission to bring a subject into the room must be cleared by Site Director S. Blank to decrease the occurrence of SCP-956-1 as well as containing further spread. Unless for testing, individuals fulfilling SCP-956 activation requirement are not to be brought within 200 meters of SCP-956 containment area. Surveillance is to be maintained through security footage at all times. 78 instances of SCP-956-1 are kept in a neighboring room, and are to be maintained at a temperature of minus 4 degrees Celsius in order to prevent melting or destruction. Any use of SCP-956-1 is to be authorized by security clearance 3 personnel, and to be carried out in a room identical to SCP-956 containment chamber. Any excess SCP-956-1 created by tests with SCP-956 is to be incinerated unless authorized by personnel with security clearance 3 or higher, as are any extraneous instances of SCP-956. Description: SCP-956 appears to be a common piñata, resembling an unknown quadruped. Tests have revealed that, although superficially similar to paper mache, SCP-956 is constructed of various amounts of glue, blank, sugar, and unidentified fur, and human tissue. SCP-956 has also shown to be highly resistant to any sort of bludgeoning damage, with large amounts of crushing force showing no damage to its structural integrity, though the use of gunfire as well as heat and flame have shown to be effective. By default, SCP-956 remains in a passive state. It shows no signs of locomotion or intelligence, and displays no hostility. Crossed out, as long as the item's activation requirement is not met, the item will remain in the state indefinitely. See Addendum 956A. SCP-956 enters its active state when a human under the age of 12 years enters within 5 meters of it. Approximately 7 to 28 seconds after entering the active zone, the child becomes unable to move, holding any stance they had at the time. The victim is incapable of motion or speech, although it remains alive, and its rapidly moving eyes suggest that it retains awareness. SCP-956 moves towards the victim and bludgeons him or her, until the torso ruptures. Upon breach, the victim's body discharges a large pile of unmarked candy, ranging from 23 to 1,323 pieces. Instances of this candy are designated as SCP-956-1. SCP-956 repeats this for any other immobilized victims before returning to a docile state. A victim can be removed from SCP-956 activation range if retrieved promptly. Upon moving the victim 12 meters away from it, SCP-956 returns to its passive state. The victim, however, shows no signs of recovering from its immobilized state, and appears to remain in such a state indefinitely. Autopsies of unbroken victims show that their body had severely dehydrated, leaving them brittle. Autopsies also revealed that pieces of SCP-956-1 had begun to grow out of the victim's organs, using the tissue as a component. The amount of SCP-956-1 appears to be directly correlated to time spent in SCP-956 activation radius. SCP-956-1's effects vary depending upon the age of the human consuming them. Humans at the age of 12 years or older go into a seizure within 3 minutes of consumption, with a 5% possibility of cardiac arrest there is an approximate 35% chance of survival for such subjects. Animals suffer similar effects, regardless of age. Children under the age of 12 undergo a different effect. They first enter a similar state to the immobilized victims of SCP-956, although they assume a standing stance, with their arms resting in front of them. The subject then experiences, in sequence, rapid hair loss, a sprouting of paper mache from their skin, and a complete restructuring of bone and muscle. The process takes 9 minutes to complete. Upon completion, the victim has transformed into another instance of SCP-956. These copies behave identically to SCP-956. There is a 0% chance of survival for the victim. Addendum 956A SCP-956 has recently begun to show locomotion outside of testing. It began to wander around its containment, tracing the perimeter of the room. It did this for about an hour before staring at a spot on the wall. 
review of footage shows that it's faced this wall after deactivating during previous tests. Security has confirmed that SCP-956 is facing directly towards an elementary school. That school is blank kilometers away. Reclassification to Euclid status requested. Dr. N. Blank. Reclassification to Euclid granted. If its effects appear to reach beyond its containment, it is to be transferred to site blank, which should keep it far enough away from potential victims. Retrieve any paralyzed victims or SCP-956-1, and administer Class A amnestics to witnesses and family. We don't need any more of these things around. Site Director S. Blank.